Many of you folks wonder why we keep dead bodies of all these animals, some which date back over 100 years. Well, this is part of Singapore's natural heritage. These are things that go back to a time when Singapore was a much more peaceful, more simple place. For those of you who remember in the old days at the National Museum at Stamford Road, we had animals with a whale bone, with tigers exhibited in the galleries. So Stamford Raffles, who mooted the idea, wanted to excite the local population as to what their natural heritage is, was. And today, this entire collection of over half a million national treasures, not just from Singapore, but throughout Southeast Asia, is based in the National University of Singapore. In two years' time, this collection, plus all the countless treasures in the back rooms of great immense heritage and research value, all of this will go into a brand new museum near a university town. It will showcase what our researchers do. It will give great opportunities to our students. It will allow them to know, to understand the past and in the process, know what to do in the present. And this is a very challenging present we're living in with all the environmental challenges, with all the biodiversity problems, species extinctions. These are challenging times and we do want to be at the forefront of the work that can be done. The museum will showcase all these things. It will allow our researchers and our students to do even more, not just in Singapore, but throughout the region. At the moment, the museum and its researchers we are regarded as among the best in our business as far as biodiversity is concerned in the region, and we want to maintain this tradition. We are doing this as part of a long history. We've been doing this since the mid-1800s. We're still doing this today. And now in the university setup and university background with all the resources available and all the skills and know-how, I think we can do it even better. Uh, this collection, this museum, is more than a natural heritage, more than the national, more than the natural heritage of Singapore. Right? It's also a sign, in a way, is this museum is indicative of what Singaporeans would want to aspire to. We're very fortunate in which the community, the foundations, and many folks in the community in Singapore have donated to realize our dream of building a new natural history museum for Singapore. In 2014, the new natural history museum will come up. But this is not the end. As I keep telling my colleagues, this is not even the beginning of the end, right? But it's exciting because it is just the end of a beginning. There's so much more to do.